as you guys can see all the car enthusiasts are here to take photos wow serious <laughs> Because later I'll be meeting some of my friends out for a ride. This R1 is really a real drinker. So with the mileage of about 220 kilometers, the fuel light will light up. So right now I'm running at about 149 kilometers. So with the amount of fuel left in the tank, I'm not sure whether it will last for tonight's ride. So let's go and fill up my tank just in case if I don't have enough fuel in my tank. The fuel consumption on this R1 is really bad. My previous bike which is the Yamaha R6, the fuel consumption is a lot better. And the best that I managed to hit was 330 kilometers before the fuel light is up. The worst is around 270. So well, so on this R1 is 230. So with a bigger CC engine, the fuel consumption will definitely be worse than the smaller CC bike. I'm also meeting my friends here. I think he's here already. And he's running a CBR 1000 RR. But I haven't seen his bike yet. Is the pump available? I think so. I just move to this pump. Yes, so again, 5000, which is RON 95 equivalent. Yeah, so the decal that was stick on the tank indicated minimum RON is 95 octane. So you shouldn't go anything that's below 95 octane because if the lower octane fuel is being used, your engine might knock. Oh shit, is that a cockroach? <laughs> That's a cockroach on the palm. <laughs> Usually I'll fill up my tank to the brim so that you know the fuel can last. I don't need to you know visit the pump the petrol station that often and also one thing i realized that once the nozzle clicks i still can um, fill in about 1.5 liters more of fuel into the tank it works exactly the same on the r6 so i think i'm about there Okay, every drops cow. Damn, it's on my fan. Reset. Oh, my friend is here. But I don't know where is he. I think he's inside. I think two other friends is here also. Yeah, Fusen. He's riding a CBR 1000 RR. So last night he used to ride an R6, but he sold it. And there's one more R1 and MT. What is this? MT. Oh, this is a Triumph. 
Looks like the empty series bike. I guess they are inside, so I just wait for them here. Okay, so we are ready now. And right now we are setting off to Kalang Decathlon. And that is the place where you know all the cars gather, meet up and also the bikers. Yeah, we have a few friends who are waiting for us there. Our meetup timing is 10.30 and right now it's 10.16. So that's another R1. It's an 09 motor because he doesn't have a day running light on his headlight. But the tail looks exactly the same as mine. Yeah, so we are waiting for the rest to arrive, then we'll set off to another area and I think we are going to somewhere else for photo shoots So let's wait for the rest to come Okay, so we are about to move off and right now we have about 20 bytes oh, Wow All the 1 liter bytes So today we have R15 R1 CBR1000R Honda RVF and the CBR 600 So today's ride will be a pretty big convoy we have lots of bike here That's so cute. Yeah. The mirror. Are we able to see anything? <laughs> Can I see right? <laughs> I think the the only thing you can see is your hand, right? Like if I open, I just open it. I can see the lane a bit, like. A bit only. Ah.
I think right now he's the most prominent rider on the road and that's quite a good idea you know to be safe on the road That's a very nice Honda RBF with the marble livery on its fairing. It's so cool. And right now we are heading to Fujiwara Tofu Shop, the most iconic shop in Singapore right now. And there's only one in Singapore and another one is in Malaysia. I've been there once with my NFR Forte. The space there is pretty small, so the place is only able to fit one car at a time. But for bikes, I don't think it can fit so many bikes as we have 10 over bikes today. So later, once we reach there, and we'll decide, you know, how to position our bikes. Yep, so we are here. So this is the Fujiwara Tofu Shop. As you guys can see, all the car enthusiasts are here to take photos. Wow, serious? <laughs> is that NOS or fire extinguisher? I think let's move. Um, bikes in so as you guys can see the space is pretty small it's pretty tight all right so we have parked our bikes as you guys can see the space here is pretty small you can't park a lot of cars here and the entrance into this parking lot is also pretty small so it's quite hard for you to turn in if you are at the left lane so you have to keep yourself towards the second lane then you're able to turn in today we have quite a few R1 here and this is the 2019 BMW S1000 R and this is the Honda RVF CBR the Suzuki I'm not sure the model of this Suzuki Another BMS 1000R, the R1, the CBR 600, another R1 here, and there are a few R1s outside. They are just waiting outside because there's no space for them to park their bikes. And here we have is the Evo 10, and this is the Lancer EX. So there's one way for you to tell whether is this car a real Evo or not first is the gas cap so the evo has a squarish gas cap and the lancer ex the gas cap is brown and it's quite rare to see evo without any wing because most of the evos i've seen is with the spoiler and also the gt wing so this is the tofu shop but I don't think they could sell any tofus here but just some, you know, Japanese stacks Inside the shop, on the shelf, as you guys can see there are a lot of uh, car detailing products and some apparel So that area will be the seat So once you order your food you are able to sit there to enjoy your food And this is the Toyota AE86 which is not legally registered in Singapore as you can see 
there's no vehicle plate you just eat ease <laughs> so this is a pretty retro car in Singapore and he needs some decals on the door so once the driver is done with his photo shoot we will move our bikes in so with 10 over of us here hopefully all our bikes are able to fit into this tiny lot all right so right now we have positioned all our bikes in front of the shop Okay, so we have done with our photo shoot. Yeah, we managed to fit all the bikes here. There are total about 9 to 10 bikes. Of course, some of them they are not here for the photo shoot. And right now we are heading to the next location again for our photo shoot. So this is another location which is also pretty popular for photo shoot. Okay, so we are done again. And right now we are heading back home today the ride so fun with all the big bikes so today there are uh, 10 over bikes close to 20 bikes so the riding was really fun and we took quite a lot of photos but of course the lighting were pretty bad so by using our phone the photo quality is pretty bad <laughs> oh damn the road is close okay we got to reroute and also it's been a while since I filmed my motovlog video 
So during my last R1 video, I've mentioned that my real suspension is very bouncy. I have went to the bike shop to rebuild my shock. So what they have done, they have rebuilt my shock, replaced the hydraulic fluid. They have also recharged the, I think it's nitrogen gas in my rear suspension. So right now, my rear suspension feels very comfortable. There's no more bounciness. And it's quite an expensive repair. I spent about $320 to rebuild my shock. Some of you have been telling me to get the Olin suspension. The Olin suspension is not that cheap. It's very expensive. It costs around $1,000 just for the rear shock. And the basic model, uh, it costs around $800 over dollars. But the adjustment is not that great as compared to the stock R1 suspension. Because on the stock R1 suspension, you are able to adjust the rebound, the fast compression, the slow compression, and the preload. So unless you are buying the high-end Olin suspension, yeah. It's fully adjustable. So the next thing that I will do on my bike will be we spray my bike. Oh bro, check man. Yeah, so definitely I'm going to respray my bike. Because recently I'm very busy with my work and personal stuff. So I don't have the time. So I got to plan my schedule again to see which week will I be free because I have to leave my bike in the paint shop for about a week to get the fairing respray and also the wheels respray. So hopefully in the next video, you guys will be seeing the new look of my Yamaha R1. Yeah, so that's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Today, I have lots of fun with the boys, with all the big bikes. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, ride safe, and bye!